Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and welcome back once again to another Smite video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the new goddess coming to you in 4.14. I'm trying out in PTS jungle practice like I usually do every time there's a new god put into the PTS. That's her kit, but before we get into anything, she can transform into a bear, which is quite magical. I think this is actually the recall that I'm using right now. We're going to get to her kit. She is Artio. That's her name. She is the bear goddess, and she's got the... the yeah, definitely on the recall because it's called, like, the, the mother of bears or something. I can't remember. She's Celtic. She's a melee magical guardian. A, a bit of a weird mix, and you wouldn't really guess her role from reading her kit, or at least I didn't when I first heard about her. I thought she was going to be a physical warrior, and I got that completely wrong. So... Passive, decompose, enemy gods hit with RTO's druid or bear abilities because she's a stance switcher will begin to decompose this effect, decreases their physical and magical protection, this effect stacks. So it's 3% per stack, max stack 8 and they last 4 seconds each, so it's essentially just a protection shred on a guardian. A bit weird, you've got her 1, energy surge, this is a cone thing no matter what stance you're in. Um, she pulses out a strong wave of energy that damages enemies, she will heal herself and allies within 55 units. Anybody, uh, depending on how many people you hit, I think it, I think it's an unlimited number. It might cap out at three or something, but I'm pretty sure it just depends on how many people you hit. Uh, yeah, I think that's how that works. And bare form, she slashes twice, damaging enemies with her claws. So standard one, looks like that. Really, really well animated, and she looks really good. Might I add, she looks fucking fantastic. And we're using the blue recolor, of course. But and then stand switch, you can do it unlimited amount of times. You literally just hit four. And there's no cooldown on it, or there's like a one second cooldown just to stop it from bugging. But you've got the one, like that. Cooldown's not massive, and you've got the one on the bear. Same thing, but you do it twice. And it, again, it looks really, really pretty. And the thing that I've only just noticed that's really cool is you can see your three abilities on your passive meter. Like, you can see the cooldowns on them. If I, if I use my one here and switch over, that's really cool. Why doesn't every other stance switcher have that? That's fucking awesome. I really like that. Or I guess, actually, it probably wouldn't apply. Anyway, her two... You've got Druid form, which is just standard form, by the way, and your bear form's the bear one, obviously. Artio creates a thicket, never heard that word used before, vines around herself that cripple enemy gods and decrease their magical protection, wait, their magical and physical power, not protection, my bad, as long as they're in the area, and in the bear form, she lets out a roar that stuns people and also increase her protection. So, more protection, not more protection shred, this time it's power shred, so she can get rid of power and stuff. Um, it's also, yes, it's a power debuff up to 25%. You get like a little area around you. I'll show you it right now. So, standard stance. This little thing follows you around. It looks really, really well detailed. And this, yeah, I think it cripples. Yeah, it said it cripples. That's her basic attacks as well. They look, they look like they should be ranged, but they're not. <laughs> it's kind of weird. And then in the bear form, it's just a roar that stuns. Kind of a bit of a shutdown. So I feel like this is your offensive stance as a massive fuck-off bear. And then, um... This is kind of your healery stance. The three is the one that's interesting to me. Life tap. Druid form, she channels for two seconds, draining life from enemies. While channeling, she deals damage up to five times and heals herself up to five times. Each hit increases the slow on it. Uh, and enemies hit for all five of the times are rooted for a second. So that's like pretty heavy CC. Life steal and damage. In the druid form, it looks like this. Oh, that looks really pretty. She's really, really well designed. Like... Like, outstandingly so far. And in bear form, she charges forward with an increased movement speed for three seconds. Enemies charged through, take damage, and are slowed for two seconds. So in the bear form, it's a charge like that. Which, again, looks pretty damn cool. And it all seems to kind of come together quite well. Although the animations on the basic attacks for the bear seem a bit weird. <laughs> like, the arms look a bit odd. And the ultimate shape shift, which is your stance, which I probably should have done that first, to be honest... Uh, yeah, you just, you, you stand switch between the two, but it's also got a passive. Every time you hit an enemy, at least one enemy with an ability, you gain a stack of invigoration, which isn't written about here, it probably should be here or something, but, um, invigoration stacks increase your movement speed and mana per five. They last for four seconds, they can stack up to eight times, and it's two to ten. The movement speed's one to three, so it's like a three percent movement speed. I guess it's per stack, so it'll, it'll add up, of course. If you get eight stacks, it's twenty-four movement speed. So, yeah. And th there you go. That's that's Artio. I don't really have much else to say about her. She's really cool. I kind of wish I knew what the um, their bear looked like in the default form, but I've only got the recolor here because I picked it. She was like grayed out on the on the menu screen. There was a weird issue going on with the recolor. I should have a screenshot on the screen for you to see now. But it was like a it was like a sad face. I, I don't know why. It's a PTS issue, but 
Hopefully she is in Smite soon. She's a guardian. The build I've got set out is not really for a guardian. It's for like a bruiser guardian. A guardian that wants to, you know, screw people up, as you can tell from the damage on this guy. But it all seems to come together quite well. The three doesn't really seem to give that much of a movement speed boost. It'd be nice if it made you go a little bit faster. But you've got like the stun, which doesn't deal damage. I actually forgot to mention that. Wow, being blinded. Fantastic. The life rip doesn't deal that much, but it's probably more about healing yourself up. Pretty fluid, comes together quite well. I usually really like stance switching gods, and she isn't that complicated of a stance switching god, which makes it a lot more welcoming. Her weapon looks really cool as well. If I can get a view of it, let me go back into combat. There you go, that weapon looks awesome. It's like a it's like a moon at the end of a stick. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. It is pretty damn late when I'm recording this video, so it'll either come out on the same evening for me, or the next day. I, I guess you'll find out when you watch it. And as always, stay frosty.